Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Inappropriate Movie Database, the comedy game show about content warnings. I hope this is working. I hope we're live right now because I do not have confirmation as of yet, but I'm going to keep talking and welcoming you to the show. Uh, it's Inappropriate Movie Database, the comedy game show about content warnings. I am your host, Nick Martucci. Thank you so much for watching, and we are live. I can confirm that I can feel better now. Uh, <laughs> Oh, we're off to a great start tonight. Uh, <laughs> hey, if this is your first time watching, let's 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 bring this back on the track. If this is your first time watching, or you're not a part of the uh, Facebook page yet, you should go over and join the Facebook page now. If you search inappropriate movie database or click the link in the description of this video, that's where you can find like the the community of this game, and uh, it's also where I book this show for the most part. And we are off to a, 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 a new month, which means a whole new uh, month of shows. And I'm still booking for some of those shows. So if you want to be on this show, if you've never been on, if you haven't been on in a while, reach out to me there. Uh, look through the list of themes, see if anything sounds good to you. And, and just uh, DM me or leave a comment and I will put you on this show. I love having new people on the show. Also, if you're not on Facebook, uh, if you're a, a good person, better person mm. than me maybe you're on instagram or twitter so am i at imdb game go there sign up there uh i'm excited for this episode this is the first time we are, are, are venturing away a little bit from our lord and savior imdb to a different <laughs> movie website <laughs> uh today uh it's all movies that are rated 90 percent fresh or higher critical rating on rotten tomatoes uh, that doesn't mean that these are the best movies ever made. It just means most people thought they were at least pretty good. Nope. Uh, it's a flawed system. <laughs> I, I did a lot of research uh, beforehand. And it is, it, as easy as it is to, to manipulate movies on IMDb, uh, it's even easier on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, for example, Lady Bird had a 100% rating for like three years until one dude was angry about that and left it a negative review. Now it's at 99%. <laughs> uh, Paddington 2, I think, went five years as the highest rated movie on the site and then somebody decided they didn't like it. Uh, Citizen <laughs> Kane, they found a 50-year-old review and were like, well, this is a negative review. Time for it to not be a perfect movie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this this is by no means scientific or, or accurate in any way. I think it'll be less controversial than the uh, the episodes we've done of the IMDb Top 250. I yeah. think there are less bad movies on this list. That's going to be hard to top. <laughs> um, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the, the only way to do that is to introduce the, the wonderful people I have on the show tonight. Joining me on the show are Josh Pick, Ken Green, Manix Catino, and Tyler Derniak. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey. Hi, hey. Uh, let's start off with a, with a long overdue re-welcome. Uh, it's been over 40 episodes since he's been on the show, and I'm so happy he's finally <laughs> back. Ken Green returns to the show. Hey, Ken. Hey, that's the worst opening to a bare naked lady song I've ever heard. It's been, I mean, it's been 48 episodes. <laughs> that's the worst song ever. Uh, that's been good. Very, been that is good. a go to karaoke song for me. <laughs> no, it's going great. I'm just sitting there sweating and, you know, just enjoying life. That's about it. That's, <clears> yeah. that's it. But yeah, other things are happening. But yeah, other than that, I'm glad to be on here. It's been a little while. So, and I want yes. to continue to prove that I don't know anything about movies, even though I've seen a lot of them. So, I mean, I here. think yeah. you have won at least once. <laughs> don't bet on that, but sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I can, I can, I'm going to just pull up stuff during this show. That's, that's the mood I'm <laughs> I would like tonight. to see. I would like to see those sorry contestants. You are on one <laughs> and four right now. <laughs> Oh, and I think that. you're going against one of the one of the worst records, but that's fine. <laughs> hey. Not the worst. Uh, yeah. uh, I got something to look well, forward to. Thanks. Well, they're, they're... Uh, it's, it's like a Lions Bears game, you know. It's... <laughs> um, 
Well, normally at this point, I will ask people for a recommendation based on the theme. And I was trying to figure out how to do that for this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play a little mini game with the, with the four of you. And I'm going to ask you, what is a movie you love that you think everybody loves? And I want to see what the, what the rating of that is. Hmm. Forrest Gump. <laughs> well, I'm already going to put that down there uh, for the future, even though I can tell you at least one person on this show disagrees. <laughs> Spoiler for that, uh, Forrest Gump has a 71% fresh rating. Oh. Okay, I go Better House favorite. Rules. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should know that, too. Just mm -hmm. in the context of this show. Let's see, what's the movie? This is giving a lot That's of people right. time to think of what their answers <laughs> might be. Cider House Rules, also 71%. Huh. My favorite has got to be, you got, Goodfellas has to be at least 80, if not 90. You know? Oh, that has to be up there, right? That has to be, yeah. That still remains, I think, my biggest blind spot. Yeah. It's mm. crazy I haven't seen this movie. Goodfellas, 96%. Boom. What about, baby, uh, that's it. What about, what about Terminator? Uh, well, let me ask you this, Josh. Did you just go to the Facebook page? Yes, but that yeah. was actually, that was actually <laughs> my, my first. That's the first movie I thought of. Well, I can say yeah, right off the honest. bat that uh, the reason that this game actually has no stakes uh, uh, for the rest of the game is that I did post 12 movies that have 100% uh, on Rotten ah. Tomatoes oh. on the Facebook page about an hour ago, and Terminator's one of them. Also, re oh, that's to the a show. perfect movie. Uh, well, I, it's not my favorite Terminator movie. That's fine. Yeah, that goes to Genesis. I defend yeah. Genesis. I think Genesis is the best Terminator 3. <laughs> uh, also, returning to the show for his 36th appearance on the show, Josh Pick is back on the show. Uh, uh, totally blue. Nah. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you lost a bunch of color since the last time I looked at the screen. <laughs> I think everything is everything's fine. I'm okay, are you? I'm great. I see a bunch of tomatoes behind you. You don't see me saying, hey Nick, I'm worried about your immediate surroundings because of all the friggin' tomatoes there, you fucking guy giving me a hard time about well, you've already picked like three movies and we're not going to have any fun anymore. But Josh, thank you for coming back on the show. <laughs> yeah, no more, no more, no fun, more fun for me. No, we're yeah. playing this game yeah, straight Don't call now. on me no more. I'm just going to sit here for the next uh, remainder of the hour. Well, Josh, <laughs> welcome back to the show. Uh, Leave me alone. Also, also returning to the show, uh, uh, So Happy is back because it had been a while and now this is like his second time in a couple of weeks. Tyler Derniak back on the show. Hey, Tyler. Hey, how's it going, guys? Going good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Uh, I know that Josh already picked the best one, but what do you think is, a, is another movie that you really like that also everyone likes? Uh, I, think, I think everyone's... Uh... I think everyone's way into Shrek too. <laughs> I mean, that has to be the highest rated Shrek, right? You know that Shrek Two is the spiritual the spiritual successor to Cider House Rules. <laughs> yeah. It's also technically the sequel to the first Shrek. Uh, oh. Shrek <laughs> Two just misses this game. It's at eighty nine percent. Wow. Audience oh, score sixty nine percent. That's nice. <laughs> oh, I've never what? seen the it. audience is lower than the critics on Shrek Two. Can you believe that? <laughs> I didn't realize it was such an art house film. <laughs> no, it's a contentious movie. It's a cult classic, Tyler. First Shrek eighty eight percent critic, ninety percent audience. Huh. Audiences just don't like Shrek Two. They prefer original flavor. What happened in the second strike? I might have missed it. What happened? Did something happen? Like, was he killed? Or, you know? uh, oh, yeah, no. He <laughs> died. <laughs> it's, it's real dark. He just murders someone. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't the princess get an abortion? 
it, it cuts to 15 minutes of a live execution from Nebraska. <laughs> and then Donkey just comes in. <laughs> I, I just read yeah. the, the YouTube comments right now, and this is going to be so weird to do in the middle of this conversation, but I have to obey the comments. Hi, Miles. Hi, Miles. Everybody say hi, Miles. Hi, Miles. <laughs> Miles. <laughs> now, Miles, don't listen to anything else we're going to talk about. <laughs> also, hi, Jessica. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Yesterday uh, was her birthday. Everyone say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Not you, Miles. <laughs> uh, finally, returning to the show, uh, always great to have him here. Uh, the the sweetie toothed madman. Sweetie toothed. <laughs> the sweetie toothed. <laughs> oh no! I don't like that at all. How you doing tonight? Sweetie the toothed. I think I'm doing all right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, beer. do you have a movie to add to this thing that is basically nothing? It's just an excuse to say movies. Y- you know, it's it's probably not on the list because all the movies I like don't tend to be movies everyone else likes, but Dead Poet Society. Hence the sweaty tooth madman right there. Can I give a spoiler alert? I don't know if... Are any of you on this Thursday show? No. Yes. No. <laughs> may, yes. This yes. may or may not come up. Uh, it's got an 84% on Rotten Tomatoes, 92% audience score. Roger Ebert hated Dead Poet Society. Yeah. On Thursday, we're doing movies Roger Ebert hated. <laughs> Which, again... <laughs> Interesting fact. I sat by... I went to a screening of a movie in Chicago. They had a theater... A Chicago theater famous. You've seen the sign. And they have a screening room upstairs. And I was working for a newspaper writing movies. And I had my seat, got there early in time. You know, and uh, he came late and sat right in front of me, even though there's a million seats everywhere. And he's you know, he had a big head. Oh. I'm not going to say. Rod- Roger even had a giant ass head. And I was like a little pissed, but I was going to smack him. But I held back, <laughs> didn't do it. So, yeah. But uh, so if he hates something, I automatically like it just for that moment. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. Have you have you beat the shit out of any famous Chicago movie critics? Uh, Did you ever give no, Siskel one? I, well, no, I, tell you my, my, I almost beat up Cusack one time, but John Cusack. So that's the closest I can give a critic, but he was just being an ass and we almost got into it. So that's a whole other story. <laughs> Oh, man. I tell it now. I'm not going to tell it now. Go ahead. <laughs> the idea of, of you with with Cusack in a headlock and just like giving oh, up a noogie or something. He came close. The bartender had to tell him to move. Like go, go sit over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that. I love that so much. That's amazing. But Eber's the only only critic I wonder. I only came close to hitting. So yeah, that's fair. Eber. Although when well, there was that time, Pauline Kale. Never mind. That's a whole. <laughs> all right. Before we get Ken in trouble, uh, yeah. thank you all for being back on the show. Uh, you all know how this game works. If this is your first time watching, here's what's going to happen tonight. I have gone to IMDb, the Internet Movie Database, and I have pulled parental warnings for a bunch of movies that. Uh, I've also gone to Rotten Tomatoes and figured out that they all have a 90% or higher on Rotten Tomatoes. So this was a two website check. I put a lot of work into this episode. <laughs> and uh, I wonder why everything went wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. <no. laughs> and you wasted uh, on this group here, huh? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> all that work and just for us. Wow. What a pity. Um, <laughs> these parental warnings i don't write them i don't know who writes them apparently i know who writes a couple but but nobody uh, <laughs> no, no, nobody who uh i believe has contributed to anything on the list here tonight uh i, I thought you were gonna say society <laughs> <laughs> nobody who i have any real desire to know in real life <laughs> it's like the show Keep talking. I threw my ear earphones out, and I, I can't hear anything. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, man. And Everything's that's why Nick is my smartest friend. This is... <laughs> why do I do this? Why do I host this show? I don't know, Nick. I really don't understand yeah, why that's... I do this. This is episode 112. I think 112. especially me. I don't know why you do this to me, especially. 
<laughs> Josh, you, you, the show wouldn't be the same without you. So I don't know if it would be better or worse, but it, it be wouldn't better. be the same. It'd be better. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to read these IMDb parental <laughs> warnings. My friends, you're going to try to figure out what movie these warnings are from. I think we've all uh, we've, we've all talked enough. I think it's time to start the game. To do that, Josh, you were well, first up. Do you like a movie from 1984, 1994, or 2008? 1984. 1984? Yeah. All right. First movie of the night from 1984. It's got a 90% or higher on Rotten Tomatoes for five points under violence and gore. A daughter disdainfully criticizes her mother. The mother slaps the daughter. Josh is buzzed in for some reason. Anybody else? <laughs> I'm using the wrong thing, but am I in? Oh, I didn't wait. I forgot how to raise my hand. Oh, you you, you hit raise hand. Right now you're just giving me a thumbs. <laughs> what the hell is, what is raise hand? I don't see raise hand in there. It's because you have the updated version of something. It should be under reactions. There should be a thing that just says raise yeah. hand. Oh, yes, right. Okay. All right, <laughs> great. Ken, Ken yeah. what do you think this movie is? All right, at the risk of losing the point, I got to run off that carry. Josh, what Carrie, do you think? Did I, come, did I mess up my Wi Fi? I can hear you, carry. <laughs> the Terminator. I mean, that's a good guess. Uh, <laughs> said something no, about an angry know. mom. That's that sounds like the Terminator. Sounds like Terminator. Uh, we all know the famous daughter in the Terminator franchise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is not Terminator. It is not Carrie. <laughs> oh. I felt like I felt obliged to guess it, though. I mean, you had to. Yeah. Uh, all right. For four points under the category of sex and nudity, a couple overhears another couple have sex. Sexual noises are heard couple is shown in bed after having sex. No nudity. Josh, did you have another guess? No, my cat okay. is just on my That's um, fine. My I'll, I'll fix yeah. that. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Tyler, what do you think this movie is? Is this Meet the Parents? Uh, <laughs> this is not 1984's <laughs> Meet the Parents. <laughs> For three points under violence and gore, a man's skull is shown in one scene. Torn flesh surrounds it, but due to the special effects of the time period, it's rather unrealistic and not too graphic. My, no. I don't know if, okay, Ken is still here. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm back. It crawls for a second. And I, I, I did raise. You did yeah. raise. All right, Tyler, what is this movie? Is this Indiana Jones and the Ark of the Covenant? Um, that isn't even an Indiana Jones movie, but it is not. <laughs> it is not Raiders of the Lost Ark either. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, so well, there's a lot of reasons that's not a good guess. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> For two points under sex and nudity. Out of all the 1980s slasher films, this one easily has the least sexual content. Out of all of them. Don't, I don't know which one. Uh, my hand is up. Okay. Ken, what do you think? All right, Friday the 13th. Josh, what do you think? Nightmare on Elm Street. Tyler, what do you think? Uh, Sleepaway Camp. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, I can tell you that that fact is completely wrong for Sleepaway Camp. <laughs> um, it is not Friday the 13th. It is the other one. This is A Nightmare on Elm Street. Currently 95% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Hey. Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, say fun. <laughs> Final clue on that, under frightening and intense scenes, characters are afraid of going to sleep because of what may happen to them. <laughs> uh, 
at the end of a very exciting first round, Josh is in the lead with one point. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Mannix at zero, Shame. Ken at negative two, Tyler at Shame. negative three. Yeah. <laughs> Ken, would you like a movie from 1962, 1992, or 2019? Uh, well, seeing as I'm playing with fairly young people, I'm going to go to the other end of the spectrum. <laughs> Try to get something closer to where I am. 62, let's try that. Yeah. All right. Hopefully they, they were, they're not, they weren't born. They won't know anything about that whole era. They, well, I'll, I'll sweep this category cleanly. I barely know on. anything about this era, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. true. I know it's been a year, but go ahead. Yes, <laughs> it's all good to me. <laughs> From 1962 for five points under violence and gore. There's a brief car chase, and one of the cars flies off a cliff and crashes, resulting in a large explosion. Oh, boy. Tyler has always. a guess. My hand Tyler is always too. has a guess, and so does Josh. Yeah, why not? All right, Josh, what do you think? Is that Rebel without a cause? Tyler, what do you think? Is this uh, James Bond? Um, trying to think of which potential one it could be. Uh, they could go say Casino Royale. Is this one Casino Royale? But the original? This is not the, the parody James Bond Casino Royale. <laughs> this is oh, also parody. not Rebel Without a Cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not hear parody. No, hmm. I mean, that Casino Royale is just a comedy. Ah. Uh. For four mm. points under sex and nudity, we see a woman and a man nude in a contamination shower. Only their shoulders and stomachs are visible from one hour, 19 minutes, 28 seconds to one hour, 19 minutes, 52 seconds, <laughs> in case you were wondering. In a, in a contamination in shower? In a contamination shower. Oh, shower. Only their shoulders. I used to say contamination chopper. I'm like a helicopter that's like to be kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I'll okay. take a stab at it. Uh, All right. Anybody else? Why not? What do you think, Josh? Well, I've never actually seen this movie, which is kind of embarrassing. And this might be a really, really, really stupid guess, but Omega Man? It is not Omega Man. Why would there be a car chase in Omega Man? <laughs> Who else is driving? Yeah, also, who's the woman and who's got the guitar? Like I said, it was probably a very stupid guess. And I wasn't you know going to say anything, but you found hey. all the reasons why it's wrong. M Mulligan, can I just keep Mulligan and you can pretend I didn't say anything there? You can still take the point. I deserve that. Okay. Just edit. Uh, learn. I'll learn how to edit. Can, <laughs> can I do have to read the next clue? You're yeah, and that was a really oh, bad go for it, guess. Go for it. Go for it. All right. <laughs> For three <laughs> points under frightening and intense scenes, the hero wakes up to find a tarantula crawling up his arm. He knocks it off and kills it with his shoe. Very tense. Tyler's going to say arachnophobia. <laughs> Tyler, what do you think? Uh, this is Home Alone 1. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Oh, what I think was was actually called Home Alone One. <laughs> Weirdly, I think Tyler, you were on the right track at the beginning. It's a James Bond movie, and I want to say it's uh, not which one. Though. I'm gonna go with Doctor No. Um, unfortunately, Tyler, it is not the 1962 Home Alone One. <laughs> um, is it the James Bond movie, James Bond Lost in New York? <laughs> <laughs> He gets he gets head trauma from mission in New York. That, fam that famous scene. He doesn't know where... what's going on anymore. The famous but unlike, scene where, unlike, uh, unlike Matthew Bourne, he doesn't know how to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> like his cognition is just like it's gone. Yeah. Uh, a he had that cameo by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. <laughs> you know, <walking> <laughs> <laughs> uh, he has you know, no idea who it is. All that's to say that this movie is Dr. No. Can you get it right? Uh, right. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> finally. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, it's the tarantula in Home Alone 1 where the hero wakes up and it's on his arm. <laughs> Dr. Yeah, no. the 1962 classic, <laughs> Kelly Culkin classic. <laughs> uh, Dr. No's also at 95% fresh. Uh, also in it, under violence and gore, the villain orders his Ben. 
I don't know what that means. Orders his men to torture the hero. Oh, I think it, they meant to say men. Orders his oh, yeah, men to yeah. torture the hero. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's probably... Yeah. That's probably they right. hit him repeatedly while a woman watches, but the more brutal torture happens off screen. We hear him grunting and crying out in pain as the baddie remains oblivious. We <laughs> later see the man bloodied, bruised, and his clothes ripped after the beatings and torture. And alcohol, drugs, and smoking, the hero has several vodka martinis, a theme that <laughs> runs throughout the series. <laughs> theme. <laughs> theme. <laughs> theme. I guess that's a motif. Yeah. <laughs> vodka martinis are also a theme in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, at the end of that round, Ken is now in the lead with one point. Ah, there we go. There we Man, go. it's playing the Lloyd strategy in second place with zero. Josh at negative one, Tyler at negative five. I feel like I might just be here to fill a spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about my entire life, Mannix. All right. Well, let's see if uh, if you get any help here. Mannix, would you like a movie from 1991, 2007, or 2010? Um... How about 2010? 2010. 2010. I almost remember that year. <laughs> that makes, I think, one of us on this stream. <laughs> I have an idea of what happened. I think it's the broad strokes. All right. From 2010 for five points under sex and nudity. Two characters have a love affair, and there is some discussion about it, though nothing is ever shown. One scene has a frank discussion about it. Oh, I have a guess. This is 2010? Mm-hmm. Oh. I got a guess. All right. Uh, Tyler, what do you think? <laughs> Love, actually. Josh, what do you think? All right, it's not a real guess, but The Fault in Our Stars. Why is that not a real guess? That. <laughs> that's, that's very much a real that's guess. That's a better guess than Love Actually. All right, fine. Why? Because <laughs> Love Actually came out in 2004. I think Fault in Our Stars at least came out around here. Yeah, I, there's no way that movie has a 90 or a plus rating on. Yeah, I don't I don't know off the top of my head what the rating is for The Fault in if Our Stars. If it does, I'm going to kill myself. Really, there's no way it does. Then I'm not going to look it up just to be safe. <laughs> Thank you. For four Things points, are going so well otherwise. For four <laughs> points, under profanity, mm-hmm. anatomical and scatological terms like willies, balls, and tits. Willies, balls, and tits. <sighs> the holy <My>. trinity. <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh, Tyler. Man. Like the mere plot. Yeah, there, there. It's all. Everything I'm going to say is going to sound like it's dumb, <laughs> but they're all real guesses. Is this? <laughs> Is this, Ang- is this Angus Songs and Perfect Snogging? You are now two for two guessing that movie. When, uh, it it wow. still is not that movie. <laughs> you, you're, you really should have been on the episode that Lizesti Liz hosted. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was the only time that movie was going to show up on the show. <laughs> three points under Frightening and Intense Scenes. King George V is shown dead in his bed. Oh. Oh, I have a guess. Uh, My hand is up. It's still probably not the fault in her stars, but still could be. <laughs> yeah, no, I have, I have a real All guess right. this time. Ken, I will go to you first. What do you think? I mean, it's probably too obvious since you mentioned the name George. It's not the madness of King George. Josh, what do you anyway. think? The King's Speech? It is not the madness of King George. Uh, it is ninety-four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, the yeah. King's speech. Oh, good job, good job. <laughs> okay, see that's not fair because that movie also has Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging in it. <laughs> it's how he that's... learns to not stutter. He watches yeah. that movie and recites oh. the dialogue. Yeah. I thought you were going to say <laughs> that the doctor makes out with him. <laughs> 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 That's a beautiful scene. It's a life touching. Man. That's it's how he learns to talk. <laughs> you know uh, that scene where he was spanked until he gave his radio address? <laughs> <laughs> also, in the King's Speech, under profanity, there are several uses of fuck. This mostly happens in one scene where the main character is raging Snogging. in his therapist's office <laughs> and he says fuck several times. <laughs> 
<laughs> and <laughs> frightening and intense scenes, the atmosphere is light and pleasant. Even if the prince's initial speech is painful to watch and seeing him so publicly embarrassed. There are other difficult moments, but nothing too disturbing or shocking. Did they say the atmosphere is pleasant at a movie about the early days of World War II? <laughs> it felt nice. <laughs> They That's were all so nice. He learns how to talk yeah. good. Uh, <laughs> he learns how to talk good. <laughs> yeah. And how to do other stuff good too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is this is gonna be one of those episodes. Josh is back in the lead at one point. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Ken and Mannix tied at zero. One of you worked a lot harder for that zero. <laughs> Tyler is at negative seven. Man. Yeah. <laughs> How many? Negative seven. That's oh, good job, Tyler. Oh, I have God. seven points. Yeah. <laughs> In intergear form. You're only seven <laughs> points away from the second place score of nothing. I absolutely <laughs> have seven points. I have the absolute seven of points. You're only uh, two questions away. Tyler. Would you Ooh. like a movie from 1942, 1984, or 2009? Uh, let's do 42. Let's do 42. Wow. Let's do 42. Maddox is already buzzed in. So is Tyler. Hey, my hand's up too, buddy. <laughs> so is Josh. Ken, do you want to take a free guess? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's All go. right. We haven't done one of these in a while. Josh, what do you think this movie is? I don't want to go first. Okay, Ken, what do you think this movie is? I don't know what. Oh, was it made in forty? No, it wasn't. Oh, wait, hold it. Um, uh, uh, the. Oh, what's the some Jimmy Cagney movie about gangsters and shit? Uh, <laughs> um, 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 can't think of it. Just say a, it's called a Jimmy Cagney movie. I think it's the official title. It's a Jimmy Cagney movie. Josh, what do you think? <laughs> the fault of our stars. Fuck you. I don't know the guess. Tyler, what do you think? Is this is this Casablanca? Mannix, what do you think? Can I also guess Casablanca? You sure can. We start this round at negative ones all around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't guess. I didn't guess anything. I told you I didn't guess. Pretty sure you guessed Fault in Our Stars. I told you I wasn't guessing. I just wanted to yell Fault in Our Stars. Negative ones all out. around. Well, whatever. Mm. I haven't gotten to do one of those in a while. Always fun when I can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, for five points or four points, if you're keeping track of math, <laughs> <laughs> under frightening and intense scenes, lightning can frighten smaller children. <laughs> Just in general. I'll guess. Okay, Josh, what do you think? Brantasia. Ken, what do you think? Frankenstein. Tyler, what do you think? Antasia. Mannix, what do you think? <laughs> Bambi. Uh, it is not Fantasia or Frantasia or Frankenstein. It this movie Flantasia. is Bambi. <laughs> oh, man. Good. Good. Oh, that nice. was it. That's nice. Okay. Too bad you came in bold and couldn't totally claim five points for that. <laughs> Man. Uh, yep, Bambi has a 91% on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm. Good. Uh, also in Bambi, under frightening and intense scenes, creepy music plays whenever man is coming closer. <laughs> Though we never see man, it's implied that in a frightening way it may be scary to children. <laughs> Sounds like something Charlie Day would write. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy music when man comes. <laughs> Are we sure this isn't the fault in our stars? Six and nudity. A character turns rigid and blushes Ugh. before falling over when a female skunk touches him on the nose. Frightening yeah, sure this wasn't the fault Castle of our stars. <laughs> Funny. Frightening and intense scenes, there's a large forest fire which engulfs the animals' homes, causing them to cry out in fear and flee in a frenzy. This may scare younger children, especially those afraid of fire or lava. And frightening and intense scenes, the scene where the main character's mother is shot and killed may upset smaller children or anyone. The death is not shown, but is very dramatic. 
it may upset smaller children or anyone. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm folks. pretty sure they show it in the director's cut. <laughs> <laughs> Manning's now in the, the lead with cut. four. Josh is at negative one. Ken at negative two. Tyler at negative nine. Ooh. I'm almost more than two questions from positive. <laughs> Uh, Josh, we're back to you. Do you want a no, movie from no. 1997, 1999, or 2018? Well, 1999, the Cider House Rules came out. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. 97 was the other one? Yep. Uh, let's, let's do that one. All right. 1997. No, that's not 1998. It's not that for five points under violence and gore, there's a long scene in the morgue where a medical examiner is digging around the insides of a corpse. We don't see anything, but we hear squishing and squashing noises. Wait, what year was this again? 97. 97, okay. We hear squishing and we also hear squashing. Oh. Squishing and squashing. If it was just squashing, I'd know. But... <laughs> For four points under violence and gore, a man fires a high-tech gun in a street that causes a large explosion and knocks him backwards. Maddox is a guess. Tyler is a guess. Anybody else? Ken also has a guess. Oh, boy. Well, I feel dumb. <laughs> All right, Ken, what do you think? Uh, men in Black. Tyler, what do you think? Uno, mm. the first men, in, men in Black. Mm. Maddox, what do you think? Men in Black. This oh. is Men in Black. All right. You know, I had that thought at the five point one, and then I thought that's not right. And then 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh. I, yeah. oh man. Oh. Yeah, it was funny with the first the first hint. The 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 uh-huh. and I'm like, oh, aliens. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Wait, you they, I think they all said man in black. It's not it's not the Johnny Cash. <laughs> Take, the, take away a point from all of them. And then I'm going to guess. Man in Black 2. June Carter. When she's sad because Johnny's dead. But she's not a man. She's a woman. Don't Also, he outlived. You, I'm not finished. Stop being a creep, you jerko. Because, you know, she's she's good at... Uh, she Her music was fine, too. Uh, what is, what is uh, what, wait, a wait, Josh, can you say that again? The internet was cutting out. Can you just repeat? Oh, yeah, man, man in black, too. Uh, the Jew and Carter story. Um, but uh, she's she's sad at because she's dead, he's dead, Johnny's dead at, at his funeral. But hey, there, stop calling her a uh, man, she's a woman, creepo, stop being a jerko. Um, two. Anyway, also in Men in Black, under frightening and intense scenes, the villain is honestly more creepy in his adapted human form than he is in his true form. Sometimes his skin hangs off his face, which he occasionally adjusts. I don't know how Vincent D'Onofrio didn't get an Oscar nomination for this for movie. Sure. For sure. One of his finest roles next to King fan, but sure. <laughs> and why does uh, Joshua scream with, like a Genesis album cover from like... Yeah, all of a sudden, I think Josh has ended up in Lloyd's setup, and I don't know what happened. <laughs> no. Well... He's yeah, become Lloyd. a cube. <laughs> no, Lloyd. I, yeah, we've... I've ascended. All right? It's about, <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> I don't um, need you, but I do really, really like you <laughs> and enjoy this, so I'm still here. But know <laughs> that my consciousness is so far beyond. Uh, violence and gore and alien shot causing blood and guts to fly everywhere, but you'll see that it looks just like ordinary blue goo. <laughs> blue goo. And Got sex that and here, too, in the cube. After shooting an alien in the head and having it grow back, an agent threatens the same alien that next time he's going to return and shoot him in something that wouldn't grow back. <laughs> uh, Mannix is at eight points now. Ken is at two. Josh at negative one. Tyler up to negative five. Oh. Woo. Race. They'll right. never take me alive, Nick. <laughs> All right, Ken, would you like a movie from 1961, 1983, or 2011? Mm -hmm. uh, 
especially <laughs> 61. I think there were less good movies back then. So yeah, it worked for you last time. Yeah, yeah. People were dumb back then. They were dumb, yeah. They were dumb people. <laughs> 1961 for five points. <laughs> Under violence and gore, a woman throws her fist at a man in rage. She throws her, she detached her hand. And she detaches like, her hand oh. and just tosses it over to a man. And this okay. wasn't the Astro Boy movie, was it? <laughs> Did women get mad at men back then? They weren't allowed to outside of the movie. Yeah. I thought that was a new thing. <laughs> For four points under sex and nudity at the gym dance, some girls are wearing tight dresses which reveal breast outlines and slim visibility of nipples. I, I guess, didn't like but... saying that. Uh, <laughs> I have a guess, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna hold off. Gonna hold okay. Off. Yeah. For three points under alcohol, drugs, and smoking, in one song, the singer mentions pot that his parents wouldn't let him smoke it. Ken has a guess. Anybody else? Josh may or may not still be here. We'll find out later. <laughs> hey, well. <laughs> He's turned into a blue studios. square. <laughs> <laughs> He's having some problems over there. Um, my guess? Fine. No, Manix first. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Why'd you choose me first? That's not Because nice. you buzzed in second. Dang You've it. been on this game enough to know why <laughs> I called you first. Um... <laughs> Uh, you said music, so West Side Story? Ken, what do you think? It is the original West Side Story. Oh, it yeah. is the original West Side Story. Oh. That is a movie, isn't it? It go. sure is. It it's is. got a 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. I just saw it recently oh. and hated it. So I'm in and the I'm one of those people that <laughs> I'm right there with you, Nick. Yeah. I mean, back oh, then, ra- back then, racism was pretty big, so it was like a yeah. I assume movie. Yeah. most <laughs> of the money that they spent on that movie went to the brown paint they dunked their <laughs> actors in. It is the more cocoa number see seven it melting off of their face. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. The only movie that was funded by Sherwin Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also in West Side Story, under violence and gore, several gang members get into a loud scuffle, causing an angry tenant to throw a glass bottle from above a high window at them, shattering upon the street. By scuffle, and, you mean finger snap fight. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> that is a scuffle. And violence and gore, two gangs have a fight in the opening scene, but this is done in the manner of a stylized dance number. Wait, a man has guess? a cheek cut, little blood. <laughs> oh yeah, sure, Josh. What do you think? Finding Nemo. Yeah, that's right. Phoenix <laughs> is now up to eleven points, uh, completely coming back from that zero he was stuck at for a little while. <laughs> Ken is at five. Josh is at negative one. Tyler at negative five. Mannix, would you like a movie from 1987, 1997, or 1990? I, I missed that one in between 87, 90, or 97. Since you forgot about it, let's go with 1990. All right. Movie from 1990 for five points under violence and gore. A man falls down after drinking lemonade. <laughs> Under violence and gore, a man falls down after drinking lemonade. Silence mm. of the lambs. <laughs> For four points, under sex and nudity, a girl's father mentions, quote, glands in reference to breasts, but the actual word is never used. Three points under sex and nudity. A woman has an orgasm like reaction when a man cuts her hair. She moans lightly and curls her toes. Everybody's buzzed in, including Josh, and Tyler decided that he didn't want any of that. Uh, <laughs> yes, no, no, no. Josh, what do you think? A famous restaurant scene when Harry met Sally. <laughs> 
when she it cuts her hair and she uh, <laughs> it feeds into her. Yeah. Uh, there's another famous restaurant scene. No, uh, um, um, Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> Annex, what do you think? I would also say Edward Scissorhands. This is oh, we're doing Edward real guesses? Scissorhands. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we were doing real guesses. <laughs> I've been doing them the whole actually, time, man. I actually know that one. Well, that's why Tyler didn't buzz in because he knew we were doing real guesses this time. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah I, I don't buzz in if I don't know the answer. <laughs> uh, I knew the answer at glance, but <laughs> I didn't want to be wrong. <laughs> That, that's the best way to answer a proposal. <laughs> I, you had me at glands. Uh, yeah, ninety percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Edward Sisterhands, also yeah. under violence and gore. <laughs> you say Edward Sisterhands? What do you? Yeah. <laughs> Sisterhands. It's the Mormon adaptation. Oh, okay. Oh, he's got little hands. Like a Starring Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> A fully grown man, but he's got little hands like an eight-year-old girl would have. Yeah, and little kids like kin- kindergarten scissors on his hands, like a little round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, yeah, definitely. And it's Whoopi Goldberg because she's the mob's gonna get her because of her special hands. Uh, <laughs> um, also, under uh, violence and gore, a young man gently cuts his creator's face with little blood, and frightening and intense scenes. The appearance of the title character himself may be frightening to some viewers, as he appears to be a young man with pale, scarred skin and blades for fingers. Also, speaking of the fingers of his hands, <laughs> this can even also remind some of Freddy Krueger from the A Nightmare on Elm Street franchise because of his clawed glove, which could make him even more frightening for some, but he is portrayed as a very likable character. Hmm. Some people might look at Edward Scissorhands and think that reminds me of Freddy Krueger, and now I'm afraid. <laughs> or it reminds me of Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Mannix is at 14, Ken at 8, just going point for point. Josh is at negative 2, Tyler at negative 5. Tyler, Nick, would I'm you... having fun. I'm having fun too. Uh, Tyler, would you like a movie from 1957, 1994, 1998? Uh, let's do uh, let's do 98. 98. From 1998 for five points under violence and gore. A character is burnt by a fiery explosion, but he survives, and it's played for comedic effect. Mannix is a guess. Anybody else? Yeah, I'll throw my old hat in the old ring here. Josh, what do you think? Starship Troopers. Mannix, what do you think? (laughs) Is it Mulan? It is not Starship Troopers. It is not Mulan. Oh. Sure. That Starship Troopers is pretty funny when they light him on fire. And he's like, hey, I hate being lit on fire. You guys, let's go kill some bugs now, huh? Hey, I'm walking here. Uh, for four points under frightening and intense scenes, one character is portrayed as a raging monster. The scene ends when he is accidentally hurt and starts crying. What was the first? The first character show? is burnt in a fiery explosion, but he survives and is played for comedic effect. What was the second one? One character is portrayed as a raging monster. Scene ends when he is accidentally hurt and starts crying. What was the first one? Josh, do you have a guess? <laughs> Shrek. It is not Shrek. Fault in our stars, damn it. <laughs> I've never seen Shrek. <laughs> Three points under frightening and intense scenes. A character is forced down a chick's throat. Nothing graphic is shown while wrangling and screaming in terror. Wait, say that word again. Yeah. A carrot or what? character? I, I, my ears a are character old. is forced <laughs> down a chick's throat. Nothing graphic is shown. 
while uh, wrangling and screaming in terror. Huh. Are we are we allowed to do like national <laughs> spelling bee? Like we get the <laughs> definition on chick that they're using. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I cannot give you that. But yeah. I won't give you that. Wow. 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 I have a guess. Yeah, All right, Josh, what's your guess? Toy Story. It is not Toy Story. That came out in 1998. No, it didn't. <laughs> came out in 95. Same. Well, no, uh, way different. Tyler, I but, do have to read the next but, clue. Are you Josh, sure? It does not. It's. It, it does not what? <laughs> 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 For two points under sex and nudity, one character is a ladybug who often plays in drag and is mistaken I... for being female by two characters. This becomes a recurring joke throughout the movie. Everybody but Ken, for some reason. I, I, man. All right. Mannix, what do you think? Oh, my God. So it's one of two? Because two movies came out that were exactly the same movie? Mm-hmm. I'm going to guess A Bug's Life. Tyler, what do you think? Is that Bug's Life, baby? Josh, what do you think? Toy Soldiers. No, <laughs> Bug's Life. Uh, you pick the right one. I mm. won't use a Woody Allen movie on this show. This is <laughs> a bug's life. Is Ants the other one? Uh-huh. Yes. yes. Is that a Woody mm. Allen joint? Woody Allen, Sylvester Stallone, and Jennifer Lopez are the stars of the Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. The, the only a... Woody Allen movie I've seen is Ants. Talk about <laughs> talk about likability and charisma. <laughs> Those three people. If I could go out to dinner with any three Hollywood celebs, those three. I could go out to dinner with any actor who's played an ant. <laughs> You'd go out with the ants. <laughs> um, who's the gaffer? <laughs> who's the gaffer? <laughs> I could bond me with him. <laughs> Uh, Bugs Life has a 92%. The final character under violence and gore, grasshoppers reveal that they will squish the Ant Queen. Mm. What is this Rotten Tomatoes score? 92. Wow. Yeah. I'm People curious like what Ants is. is. I'm also curious. Um, yeah, also. I've, I've still got too. that tab open on my screen. The one with all the Ants facts? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I keep... The list of Woody Allen movies, what the Rotten Tomato <laughs> scores is. I keep a list of all Woody Allen movies just so I can make sure I never watch. <laughs> also, ninety-two percent. Wow, it's the same film. That's astonishing to me. Yeah. But I'm, you know, a dullard. So. <laughs> Mannix has fifteen. My Ken has eight. Josh and Tyler tied at negative three each. That doesn't mm. sound right, Nick. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, throw you, you, my official challenge out now. You, you guessed wrong three times. You got a two point clue, so you got negative one on that. What? Uh huh. <laughs> Nick, I don't know how That's me expected. throwing the flag back out. <laughs> Wait, fault, fault, fault in my stars. Uh, we are we are nearing the end of this. Only four yeah. movies remain. One more for each of you. Four more ah. years, movies. Four <laughs> more. Josh, would you like a movie from 1932, 1987, <laughs> or 2015? Oh, 2015. 2015. That's yeah. not what I expected you to pick. I know. It's why I said it, silly. <laughs> Moonlight? <laughs> I mean, you've got the same cinematographer. <laughs> that doesn't help uh, you. Cool. Uh, I will still read this and we'll see if it'll change your mind. <laughs> 2015 for five points under sex and nudity. Woman is shown nursing a baby without explicit nudity. <laughs> Young boy tries to catch glimpses of his older sister's cleavage. Oh. Uh, nope. Nope. Wait, is you this the still same want to scene? Guess, Josh? <laughs> I'll change my guess, but I do want to guess. Okay, what do you think? Diary of a Wimpy Kid. <laughs> 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 <I'll> be... 
<laughs> I no. don't know anything about that IP. I only know that it exists. Uh. Is that what it's about? Uh, for four points under violence and gore, the violence in this movie is quite severe. It's not to the extent that many are used to, nothing like hostile or similar movies, but is quite detailed and not overplayed for dramatic effect. For three points under sex and nudity, bare-chested man outdoors sees a seen as daughter removes his dirty shirt. Missing boy returns home nude, no explicit nudity. A nude old woman is seated hunched over. Rear nudity is plainly seen. Oh, A group oh, of fully oh, oh. nude women are seen in the wood, mostly in the distance, with breasts and pubic hair visible. I mean, it could be one of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid. <laughs> that was an eventful day in his life. <laughs> Tyler, what do you think this movie is? It's, uh, it's the witch, also pronounced the Vavitch. Josh, what do you think? It's that Leonardo DiCaprio one where he has sex with a bear. The Revenant? The witch. <laughs> is the witch your guess? I don't know, man. I was going to say something else and I forgot it, so I'm just copying Tyler now. I mean, Tyler has yet to get anything right, so I don't know if I, I suggest know. you do that. That's not true at all. Uh, that's true. You did get the last one right, and you did get this one right. This is the bitch. That came out in that this year. is 90% the witch. Yeah. The witch. I, I remember two movies around that time, and it's The Remnant and The Witch. <laughs> Did the Remnant come out in 2015 or is that like it did, right? No, when that no, came 2016. out. No, 2016. I did like just think use it, was... it either last week or the week right. before. I think it yeah. was early 2016, actually, wasn't it? <laughs> now that I think about it. Uh, yep, the Vavitch, 90%. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also in The Witch, under frightening and intense scenes, several extended sequences involving disturbed or possessed children. And profanity, a few instances of damn, hell, bitch, <laughs> and whore are used, talking about witchcraft and the fate of their family. That's true, Tyler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> three movies remain, and Ooh. technically it's anybody's <laughs> game, mm-hmm. except for maybe Josh. <laughs> Mannix, you're at 15. Ken, you're at 8. Tyler, you're at 0. Josh is at negative 1. What a twisted web we've (laughs) we've woven. There's three movies left and and 15 points on the board. Well, Ken, you get to pick this one, and unfortunately I can't give you a movie from the 60s this time. You can't. See, there was was no streaming. There was only like five movies every year. Nick, you can do whatever you want to do. It's your (laughs) game. Would you like a movie from 2006, 2011, or 2017? What year would I most likely remember anything? Uh, I just feel you there. (laughs) I can't I don't know what anything. 2017. I can't remember. 2017. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a great year for yeah. something. I don't know. No. Yeah, it's sure someone had a good time. <laughs> it that was year. a great year for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> From 2017 uh, for five points under alcohol, drugs, and smoking, a minor is offered alcohol, but he rejects it. To which the offerer replies, "Quote: That's the right answer." Oh boy! All right, Josh. What have you got? No, Coal miner's you. daughter. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Because she was mm. like fifteen. Oh man! Daughters can be young still. They don't have to always be adult daughters. Nick. Again, Tyler. Somebody already <laughs> guessed. So I have to move to the next one. <laughs> For four points under violence and gore, an explosion occurs, and it endangers the lives of multiple teenagers and people, although no one is killed. 
<laughs> I like how you separate teenagers and people. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's our friends over at IMDb. <laughs> uh, explosion. Wow. Do you no longer have a guest, Tyler? No. Okay, great. What do you think, Josh? High school musical. <laughs> Uh, as far as I know, I've never seen it. I don't think there are explosions. <laughs> Could be. We don't know. For three points under violence and gore, the villain stabs the hero in the shoulders with the metal talons, and he shouts in pain. Say that one more time. The villain stabs the hero in the shoulders with the oh. metal talons, and he oh. shouts in pain. All right, Josh, what have you got? Who's that little weasel guy from Mr. Robot? Holy oh, Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. Tyler, what do you think? It's, uh, it's, it's Spider-Man coming, coming home. He's coming. He's all the way home, baby. He's <laughs> home come. Yeah. yeah, that's the one. That is, I, you finally got there. This is mm. Spider-Man <laughs> Homecoming. Nick, Nick, I said that oh, too, Nick. Nick, remember what I said that too? <laughs> Nick, remember that? I heard before what, what I said was that too? Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> right, Ken? Yeah, but it was an anagram form. So you said it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like, sure, that counts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, Ken's yeah. with me here. <laughs> I'm with you, I'm with you. That's it. <laughs> Spider-Man finally, Homecoming no is at 92%. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm. Also, also in that movie under profanity, at one point a girl says, "Quote." And for me, it would be F to F Thor, marry Iron Man, and kill Hulk. <laughs> and sex and nudity. The main character is repeatedly called Penis Parker by a bully. At one <laughs> point, they chanted at a party. That's what I'd call him too. <laughs> Two movies remain. Mannix is at 15. Ken at 8. Tyler's at 3. Josh is at negative 4. Well, thanks right. for having me on, Nick. Thanks for being good on. time. Yeah. If you're looking to find me, you can. No. <laughs> uh, Mannix, do you want a movie from 1977, 1987, or 2021? Oh. 2021. How about 2021? How, how about 2021? I don't know if any movies came out in 2021. <laughs> At least not, not a single one. <laughs> this movie came out last year. Penultimate movie for five points under frightening and intense scenes. Some themes of cheating, conflict, and anxiety. 2021. Oh, shit. No, they threw some scenes of conflict into this movie. Uh, she makes a good story <laughs> I'll guess alright Josh take a guess pig it is not pig well alright that's probably the last time I'll be what's that word um, well, guessing no, no I'm not going to stop guessing but yeah. Nope. For four right. points under violence and gore, a man threatens a boy about killing his brother if he cannot do the job right. Uh, oh, oh, no, that was a TV show. Mm. Uh, 2021. Okay, I'll move on to the three points. Mm. Under sex and nudity, there's a scene where a group of teenage boys pretend that the nozzles of gas cans are penises. They hump each other with the nozzles as <laughs> well as pretend to masturbate them and give them a hand job. Hmm. All right, Tyler, what do you think? The most recent jackass movie? Josh, what do you think? What was the name of that? The not the, the the movie about the guy who remembers the Beatles. No one else Yesterday? does. <laughs> the Jackass movie. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the Beatles. Ken, what do you think? Uh, no, uh, I, I don't know the numbers. I, I was gonna say one of those Fast and Furious. But I don't know where we're at now. Like twenty three, I think. <laughs> Last year, probably, uh, I don't know. Fast and Furious. In brackets, whatever number came after that. It is. It is uh, 
not any of those. I'm already losing track of what anybody's saying. Uh, you're all wrong. I know. Couldn't be more wrong. I don't remember. Oh, no. I think Jackass came out this year, right? Uh, yeah, I think that was like February. Yeah, I think it was this year, but I could be wrong because I don't. For don't two care. points under alcohol, drugs, and smoking, tons of cigarette and cigar smoking in almost every scene. Countless background characters smoke cigarettes, as well as a majority of the main characters. The main character, a 15-year-old, also smokes cigarettes multiple times. Hmm. Tyler, what do you think? Is this that gritty Nancy Drew reboot? (laughs) Josh, what do you think? Feel the dreams. Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> it is not uh, not Nancy mm. Drew, and I want to give you a point because yeah, fuck me, but it's not. <laughs> not, <laughs> not no, feel it's the dreams. Feel the dreams. <laughs> we we all remember ben, that part of Feel the ben Dreams. Affleck, <laughs> ben Affleck, Ben first role. Uh, final clue for one point under sex and nudity. This is a coming of age Six story years, about a fifteen-year-old boy who pursues an intimate relationship with a twenty-five-year-old adult woman. There's no sex in the film, but there is hand-holding, kissing, and many sexual innuendos. I even no? that. I and this was last year. This was. La- Can you believe they made this and it's, movie and it's last a, year? They got a ninety. Uh, it has a 91. Oh, oh what movie was this? What came out? All right, Josh, do you oh. what, what, what are you gonna say? It's a pizza. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Nick. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. I yeah. love not having to mark a zero, even when you completely throw me off by guessing correctly. <laughs> uh, it is licorice pizza. Oh, man, <laughs> good job. Yeah. <laughs> I think I should get five points for that. <laughs> Explain yourself. If, well, if my brain worked better, I would have thought of it earlier. <laughs> and I think that a lot of the decay has been 36 times on this show. I think that we can both agree you owe me Too five much. points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but to be fair, I only squander them, so I think you shouldn't give me any points. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, we're on to the final movie, and we're just doing it for fun. Mannix, you're at 15. Ken at 7. Tyler at 0. Josh at negative 6. Tyler, you do get to pick this last movie and see how that goes. Can I pick it instead? No. Uh, Do you like a movie from 1925, 1966, (laughs) or 2018? Oh, I don't care about those years anyway. Let's do 66. Let's do 66. So this would have been, Ken, you would have been like a junior in college, right? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm, about to, I'm logging what off right now. First, <laughs> first senior in high school, smart guy. Thank you. <laughs> senior. <laughs> <laughs> Final movie of the night from 1966. How great would it be if AARP represented seniors, but also seniors in high school? Like, <laughs> but not seniors in college. Wrap <laughs> this uh, game up. 1966 for five uh, points. Uh, under uh, alcohol, uh, drugs, and smoking. Some cigar smoking by military types. What year? 66. Yeah. Tyler, what do you think? Is this Dr. Strangelove? Josh, what do you think? I was going to also say that, though I don't think that's the correct year. I don't know if it's the correct year. It's not the correct movie. This is not well, Dr. Strangelove. You think you're so friggin' smart, Nick. I do, and it's only because I'm looking at the answers. I've done this game. I'm not as good as it without the answers. I thought you were going to say it's only because I'm looking at you. <laughs> Uh, Four points, violence and gore. The movie opens with a fiery car crash and a shootout. No one gets shot, no blood. What do you think, Josh? Star Wars. There are are no fiery car crashes in Star Star Wars. (laughs) Star Wars. Also, I don't think there are any cigars in Star Wars. Cigar Wars. (laughs) 
cigar, cigar. Oh, Three points, no, no. sex and nudity. It doesn't have any sex or nudity, but Raquel Welch is in it, so you know. <laughs> I, I don't. Yes, and you know. I, ooh, I do not know. I. Yeah, what the? <laughs> hey, what's up, Nick? What are you calling me? What an me? amazing thing that somebody heard. What do you think, Josh? Right. Barbarella. Not Barbarella. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's Jane Fonda. Oh, yeah. For yeah. two points under frightening and intense well, scenes, dead, who cares? one character, well reduced to microscopic size, is crushed to death by a white blood cell. Improbable, though it may be, the scene is quite graphic and may uh, upset younger and more sensitive viewers. See, everyone but Maddox. What do you think, Tyler? The, uh, the, the cornerstone of the in anthology we discussed before the show, it's uh, Inner Space. Josh, what do you think? Journey to the center of the earth. <laughs> Ken, what do you think? <laughs> now I'm not sure the title after those uh, amazing answers. I <laughs> think it's called Fantastic Voyage. No, maybe not. I'm gonna guess that. I think that's what it's called. It it is it is not Journey to the Center of the Earth. It <laughs> is not Inner Space. Uh, it's the other one. It's the most recent movie I yeah. watched. It's Fantastic Voyage. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I just watched this this afternoon. Yeah. I'll tell you the journey to the center of the dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that movie has a uh, 91%. Really? Uh, which well, is he... pretty good for a movie as boring that is, as that it is. That is horrible. Yes. <laughs> that is horrible. Wow. It looks so cool, and that's all they gave a shit about. <laughs> uh, let's wrap that up. Final clue under violence and gore. The movie centers around a stylized fantasy description of the interior of a human body, including veins, arteries, heart, and lungs. It's not very realistic, but organic enough to be gross for some viewers. And Raquel, who else is in it? So, you know. <laughs> so, Jerk you know. it off. <laughs> that oh. was Fantastic Voyage. This was Inappropriate Movie Database. Our final scores tonight hey. Josh Pick at negative 10, Tyler yeah. at negative 2, Woo. Ken at 9, Mannix uh, just decided to play the middle of the game and it worked out. Uh, 15 <laughs> points, making Mannix the winner tonight. Good job, good job. Oh, this was... The this strategy was, worked. This was Very so fun. Uh, thank yeah. you all for doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, before we go, if there is anything you want to promote, anywhere you want to be found, any last words, Tyler, I'll start with you. Uh, yeah, if you're in the greater Boston area and you're interested in doing some open mic comedy, I host an open mic that was bequeathed to me from Josh Pick uh, every Wednesday at the Model Cafe. Uh, and the uh, list goes out at 6, show starts at 7. And, uh, you know. Very cool. Yeah, go to that open mic. It's a great open mic that I would go to more if uh, we weren't still in the middle of a plague. Uh, Josh, you got anything? Yeah. Okay, great. I host an open mic too. <laughs> I still do it. In Midway. It's at the Midway in Jamaica Plain every Sunday at nine o'clock. There's a bucket. You you're gonna you're gonna want to get mad at me and tell me you're mad at me because I didn't put you up early enough. Know that I know and know that I don't care. Um so you can go to that and it's real fun. Usually I'm there until two AM uh listening to all of the things that you all have to say and it's fine i'm doing fine yeah uh so you go to that it's every sunday uh also at the midway not this tuesday but the uh, next one after that uh the ninth at the midway as i said at the midway <laughs> uh, <laughs> show called pajama party it's hosted by angela sawyer and myself it's stories it's got a fun gimmick and it's uh at 10.30 at night on a Tuesday, so you have no excuse to not be there. <laughs> uh, but it's free. And uh, it's, it's a cool, it's a fun show. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's fine, because I probably shouldn't promote a basement comedy show live on the internet. <laughs> so the other one, 
Don't worry about. Leave me uh, alone now. Okay. <laughs> uh, you, Ken, man. you got anything? Uh, not right away, but in November, I, well, a play that I wrote is going to be, it's a theater in New York. They do, they've yes. been working on that for the whole time. Uh, we're going to do like a little test run. I got to do a reading of it myself in some gallery in Brooklyn. So I got to go to New York for that, but they're going to stream it online. Mm. And I shouldn't be telling Doc, I can tell more of the actual details then, but I got that going on, a couple other things. But, uh, and I have to like, uh, my, the play I wrote has like women in there. So I got to like work on my woman voice. So if I have <laughs> any, any suggestions on how to approach that. You're doing me. great right now. Hey, wait I mean, a, you've come to the right Zoom room to, to get his suggestions on that. Yeah, exactly. That's real, never, real I should never mention everyone. that, but uh, <laughs> it's, it, it's coming up in November, and I'll let people know when the time awesome. comes. Awesome. Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, finally, I feel like you have something to promote because I'm not seeing your face. Our winner, Mannix. <laughs> Yay. Check out stuff, things. <laughs> 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 What was that happening? Perfect. That? <laughs> that's, that's all you need to say. Check out his things and stuff. <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. Things. Look uh, at this stuff. Isn't it neat? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Look, there's a the thing complete? right now. Uh, uh, yeah. Too tired should... words. I, I appreciate you doing this. I know you were you were a last minute add on, and it was great to have you here. It was great to have you all here. Thank you once again to Josh Pick, Ken Green, Mannix Catino, Tyler Derniak. I'm Nick Martucci. You can find me on all social media at Blundering Idiom. Find the show on Facebook, search Inappropriate Movie Database, or click the link in the description of this video. Uh, Twitter and Instagram at IMDB Game. We do this show Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern, Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on this YouTube channel. So uh, go ahead and subscribe to that and watch more of these. Uh, there's like over a hundred of them. Uh, some of them are pretty good. You should watch them. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday night with uh, sort of like the sequel episode to this with movies, uh, specifically a uh, noted film critic, Roger Ebert, hated. No more yeah. noted film critic and late movie arriver. Big head haver. Yeah. Guy with a really big head. Uh, <laughs> and if you want to be a contestant yeah. on the show, reach out uh, on any of those social places uh, like I said, I still have spots available this month. I'd love to have you on. Also, if you know of somebody you think would be great on this show, uh, whether they're a friend or some famous person you shouldn't be bothering, bother them. Tell them to be on this show. Uh, it's a lot of fun to do, and I'm so happy that we get to keep doing it, and it's all because people keep uh, watching and, and joining. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for joining. Have a 